Hey everybody, so I just wanted to apologize for yesterday and not uploading yesterday. It was uh, game night yesterday, board game night. So I was uh, kind of away for a very long time. I didn't think I got home till about when I was done everything else. Once I got home, it was about 11 o'clock and I didn't have much awake juices to make a vlog. So I was just like, hey, you know what, instead of you know, making a half asleep vlog, I'm just going to cut it off for today and just roll with it tomorrow. Because I didn't want to be half asleep and be like, hey, hey, hey. That's not really a very exciting vlog now, is it? No, I didn't think so either. So today though, however, I started playing a game in the morning, because it's my weekend, so yay! Friday was yesterday, Tuesday IF, woohoo, but now it's Saturday, so now it's time to relax, sit back, relax, and enjoy my days, which I did. I woke up today and decided to play Omen Side again. Now, when I first played Omen Side, I was just like, eh, not really that interesting. But as you play more of it, <clears throat> the gameplay elements expand. The amount of combat you can do expands. The amount of side quests, side stories, and like sort of little like plot details starts getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And you have to actually start thinking about your actions because I feel like this is one of those you have a very limited amount of days to figure out who did it, who done it. Otherwise, you're dead type of game. So I'm just like, ah, I'm running out of time. This is bad. I'm going to die. So, with that being said... I highly recommend it. It's on the PSN store. I don't know if it's on Steam, but I bet you it is. And that's Omen Sight. It's O-M-E-N-S-I-G-H-T, if I remember correctly. I might be getting it wrong. <coughs> it's really cool. And not to stereotype furry fandoms, but if you are part of the furry fandom, you might really like this game. It, it has a sort of Redwall-esque feel to it. If I want to know more of the story. I want to know past what happens in the war that's going on in this show in, in the game i mean past that i want to know side character stories this that the other thing i want to have an adventure game with these characters this looks like a really good game and a really good universe the plots are diverse the characters are interesting and the story elements are mind-blowing the possibilities are endless well maybe not quite endless but you get the point it's a really good game and i highly recommend it $26, I think it is, here in Canada. So, yay, definitely pick it up. I've gotten more time out of it than Rhyme, and Rhyme I spent about $50 on. So, yeah, definitely get this game. Um, Speaking of money, and better and not better, and cheaper and not cheaper, has anybody ever had that moment where they went to the Dollarama or the Dollar Tree or whatever kind of Dollar Tree you've went, and you found an item that's cheaper there, yet it's better quality than if you bought it from somewhere else? Now, there's many examples of this. My personal favorite is... This guy. This is an LED light string. Bought a Dollar Tree, so that means it's a dollar twenty-five. I've looked at some similar stuff like this, and I can be getting up to like twenty bucks for one of these things. Twenty bucks. So when I thought about it, and I've actually taken it apart and looked at it, it's really, really neat what you can do with these things. <laughs> Especially because I should be able to link them together and make longer strands, a lot longer strands, just coming off those two AA batteries. And the AA battery packs make it really nice and easy to like fit them into like prop designs and prop packs and be able to have exchangeable batteries in them. Now I know some people might want you know a more usable, um, accessible, reusable power source. But me, I like the AA batteries because you can use rechargeable batteries. <sighs> that being said, what item have you ever found that is like from a Dollar Tree, Value Village, or like you know someplace where you get something for like cheap, but it ends up being really, really, really good? Leave your comments down below. I want to know. Now, with that being said, how also do you guys, like, you know, this is how I spend my days off, and I've been talking about it. How do you guys spend your days off? And I, and I the reason I'm asking is because I always start thinking about this. Whenever I see other people on their weekends, I'm just like, what do they do on their weekends? Do they go to the park? Do they go play Pokemon Go? Do they go to the mall? Do they go to archery? Do, do they have some sort of hobby on the weekends? To be frank, I'm not one of those guys who went out and party lots when I was a kid, so I don't know if that's, like, I think that's something some people do. I know some people go to the bar or clubs, but, like, what do you guys do? What do, like, what do you guys do to spend the weekend? I want to know, because you know how I spend my weekends, and I like I like learning what other people do. It's, it's fun, because you just, like, you never know sometimes. Somebody might go skydiving as a part-time career, and just, like, yeah, that sounds like a great idea. Uh, maybe not for me. <laughs> Jumping out of a plane that works doesn't make sense to me. But it might do in the future. Who knows? <sighs>
that pretty much wraps it up for me today. Yeah. 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 I'm going to be checking out a smart car tomorrow to see if I can get the person to put down the price because gas is expensive, so I need a more fuel-efficient car. <laughs> I think it was safety, too, so ding, ding, double bonus. Anywho, hope you all enjoy. I hope you all so all have a great weekend. It's coming up here. So it's after tomorrow for everybody else because my weekends are weird and stupid. So then again, some people have weird shifts, so maybe not. Oh, well, whatever your weekend is, I hope you have a great one. If you already had one, I'm so sorry. You're back to your Mondays, and I am terribly sorry, but I hope you have a next, your next weekend's awesome and amazing. Anywho, hope you all enjoy. And until next time, remember, you're exactly who you're supposed to be. I am exactly me, and we're all going exactly in the right direction. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.